and three people were killed, several injured after cable cars and a ropeway collided with each other uh, close to the famous uh, Baba Bedenath Temple in Jharkhand's Deogar district on Sunday. Uh, 40 people were left stranded inside the cable cars overnight. And then yesterday we saw the dramatic uh, visuals showing military choppers, the NDRF and ITBP uh, being used to get them to safety. Seven more people were rescued today. Eight people remain trapped in the rescue operations are underway. And in a tragic uh, end, a man uh, who was actually being rescued by one of the choppers actually fell to his death, to the horror of everyone watching. So frightening visuals there really. And uh, this poor man uh, being rescued from those cable cars. However, his hand slipped and he fell to his death. Well, let's go across to Manish, uh, who was uh, there yesterday when these rescue operations were taking place. And Manish, what is the latest that you can share with us? Uh, even now, uh, a few uh, people remain trapped in those cable cars. It's been an extremely, extremely challenging rescue operation. Yes, of course, no denying the fact that it is one of the most challenging rescue operations uh, we have seen in the recent past. But the good news is that this uh, rescue operation was launched at 6.30 in the morning uh, and the weather really helped the Indian Air Force and the choppers so that uh, now uh, seven people have been rescued since 6.30 in the morning and remaining eight people, the district administration as well as all those who are uh, involved in the rescue operation are claiming that uh, they will be also taken out. In the next uh, few hours, it will take around two to uh, three hours maximum. But of course, after yesterday's casualty, today uh, Air Force, uh, uh, all the Jawans who are uh, inside the choppers, they are you know taking extra precaution. That is why it's a bit slow. But of course, uh, taking out uh, seven people in in the last uh, uh, two hours is uh, of course is a big achievement for them. And now they are hoping that in the next few hours, maximum three hours, they will be able to take out remaining eight uh, people also. Gargi. All right, Manish, thanks so much for joining us with those details. Hopefully everyone still trapped in those cable cars can be rescued soon. An absolute nightmare for them to be trapped for hours and hours in those small cable cars.